This spreader is our premium drop spreader. It had a precise rate control panel with a number of adjustable settings for accurate coverage of our Miracle Grow Evergreen lawn treatment and grass seed products. It is suitable for medium or large lawns over 100 square meters. As you push the spreader, it drops the product directly underneath, so the application of product is precise and has 49 spreader settings found on this rate control housing or micrometer. The micrometer can be twisted to show a series of numbers, so you can easily select the correct spreader setting. Our granular products differ in size due to the different formulations, so spreaders have to have a range of settings to allow for smooth and even product coverage. So it's always important to select the correct setting, otherwise you will under or over apply the product. When your spreader first arrives, you'll need to assemble it. It's quick and easy to do. First, check that all parts are contained in the box. Then lay the hopper down so it rests on its front and insert the two frame legs into the hopper slots. Secure with the bolts and wing nuts. Next, attach the handle assembly to the frame legs Again, using the bolts and wing nuts. Make sure the window in the rate control housing or micrometer is facing forward when it is upright. At this point, do not raise the handle or tighten the wing nuts. Slide the wheels onto the axle with the flat side of the wheel on the outside. Attach the axle washers and insert the split pins through the holes in the axle. Bend the ends of the split pins around the axle to secure. Align the hubcaps and snap them into place. Now place the spreader upright on its wheels and raise the top of the handle assembly into the straight position. Tighten the handle and frame wing nuts to secure the handle and frame leg connections. Finally, Attach the control wire assembly by screwing the rate control insert into its housing on the handle. Your Evergreen drop spreader is now ready to use. Application rates can vary depending on the product, its setting and your walking speed. So it's best to time your walking speed before you apply the product. The trick is to apply the product evenly and this is based on your walking speed. For this spreader you need to cover 1 meter per second. We would recommend that you place two canes 5 meters apart and walk between the two canes pushing the empty spreader. Practice it until it takes you 5 seconds to cover the distance. Once you have mastered your walking speed, this is the speed you need to walk while supplying the product. This spreader dispenses a 43 cm wide strip. Here are some tips to help you achieve the best results. The best method of applying the product is to apply a header strip at the end of each run on which to turn. For rectangular lawns, apply a header strip at each side. For irregular shaped lawns, apply a header strip around the edge, starting in one corner and then finishing back at the start. You can then start your stripes 43 cm inside. To avoid missed areas, line up the wheel of the hopper with the wheel mark on the previous run. A light application of water to your lawn prior to apply the products will highlight the wheel tracks from the previous strip, making coverage even easier. If this is difficult to see, then measure the width of the spreader hopper and then mark out the area using packs and string. If the product setting requires two or more passes over the lawn, cover the lawn area in different directions, crisscross. This will avoid trend lines between each row where no product has fallen. Let's fill the hopper and I'll show you how it works. With the lever positioned away from the handle to the off position, a visual check is that the holes in the hopper do not open. Select the spreader setting from the back of the lawn treatments of grass heat pack or on our lovethegarden.com website. For this demonstration we're using Miracle Gross Evergreen Premium Plus Ultimate Spring Lawn Food, which has setting 3.5 on the pack. To fill the hopper, always place the spreader on a level surface and not on the lawn. You want to avoid excess product falling onto the lawn, which can cause scorch. 
Fill the spreader evenly up to three quarters of its capacity. Notice there's a handy visual guide in here, a line which separates smooth and rough surface. Apply the product back and forth in the longest direction, shutting off the spreader when reaching the header at the end of the strip. Open the spreader again when moving off the header onto the next strip. When the application is finished, make sure any product is brushed off your shoes before stepping onto pavement or decking. If the lawn was wet before application, make sure your shoes are clean and dried before going back into the house to avoid the granules transferring from the garden onto other areas. On an annual basis, we recommend checking the calibration of the spreader. The micrometer is like an elastic band and can deteriorate over time. New evergreen spreaders are calibrated at the factory, so no need to do this on the first use. To check the calibration, do the following. Adjust the rate control to number 6. Turn the spreader upside down. Place the foot on the on-off control lever against the handle to keep the shut-off bar open. The front edge of the shut-off bar should be aligned with the engraved line across one tooth of the hopper base. Adjust the alignment with the line using the small back screw thread at the lower end of the control cable. Tighten the cable until the wire is taut and the edge of the shut-off bar is aligned with the engraved line. Release the trigger. It is important to maintain your spreader to ensure that it lasts for many years. Here are some tips to help you get the best out of your spreader. You should never leave product in a spreader. Instead, carefully pour leftover product back into the original packaging. Seal tightly and store in a dry place. After each use, wash the spreader thoroughly to remove all product clinging to the spreader, particularly around the axle. Hot water may be required to remove stubborn residues. We recommend that you put the waste water on waste areas in your garden and make sure you allow the spreader to dry thoroughly before storage.